Hello, in this video we're going to have a look at how to add drag and drop functionality for our skills. So this will enable us to drag skills from our skills window into the action bar. It will allow us to move skills between the different slots in the action bar. And we can also clear slots by dragging the skill out into the world. So this is part two uh, of creating the great action bar. So uh, let's have a look at the quick demo again. Okay, so let's um, start this up. So we'll open up the character skill window so specifically what we're going to be looking at is clicking on the icon start dragging it seeing the icon being populated and dragged and then dropping it onto an active slot so you can see it's uh, dropped in there we can also move it between different slots like this as well and then if we drag it out into just the map uh, or just somewhere we, we don't support uh, it will clear that slot as well, right? So that's what we're going to be looking at in this video. So let's get started. So in the previous video, what we've done is created these uh, skill book widgets. Um, so you don't actually have to have the same ones. This should be compatible with um, other widgets as well, which is why this is split into two parts. Uh, but you know, obviously let's use this as a reference point. So inside this skill window, what we're gonna be doing is populating these skills. And specifically what we want to do is drag the skill icon out of this uh, widget onto the action bar, right? So that's what we want to achieve. So um, in order to do that, we want to basically start um, checking for the mouse drag and we do that on mouse button down when we click on the image so you can see that this is uh, an image um, component so if I click this this is an image component I've called it skill icon and if I click on it you'll see that there's an event on mouse button down and I'm going to start detecting drag when the mouse uh, button is down right so you can see that the drag key key here is le left mouse button and i'm simply detecting drag when this is pressed okay so with this function in place what we want to then do is override on drag function now you're not going to see it populated here that's because i've already got it implemented uh, over here so i uh, simply find it through the override there and uh, once you've clicked it it will create this function so inside this function, what we want to then do is create a drag drop operation. So create drag drop operation. That's how you, you do that. And what we'll do is create a new uh, skill drag widget. Now, to be honest, you can call it whatever you like. Um, I should probably call it skill drag instead of skill drag widget. But in order to create that, so uh, right click, create new blueprint. And here you just type. Uh, drag drop operation so you can see my skill drag widget belongs to the drag drop operation and inside there we actually have nothing right so I literally didn't modify anything here so to be honest we don't even need to have this um, specific class I'll show you why I've done this and I think it's useful uh, but you can see there's uh, nothing that I needed to override here now in the future I might add additional variables and functions here uh, so it may become useful later, but I can even show you how you can uh, do without it. So you can see when I create skill uh, drag widget, you can just select the specific class and you can see that I'm simply passing self as a payload and the icon as the default visual drag. Now you can see that I should be able to do that uh, inside the default drag drop operation, right? Now, what you need to bear in mind is that you need to find a way of determining uh, what the operation is. So you could actually use the tag. Um, so basically from here you can get tag, right? Um, and then you can potentially have a switch statement to evaluate it. So if you don't want to create your own um, drag drop operation, you could actually use the default one as well. Now, uh, I've created this uh, so that I can um, add additional functions to this in the future. So let's quickly talk about the payload for this uh, drag and drop operation. Now, really what I need is um, skill information, right? So uh, I actually have skill information inside the variables of this widget. So what does it mean when I pass self as the payload? Uh, it just means that I'm passing the reference to 
uh, this entire skill book item widget. Now it doesn't copy it, it's a reference, so it's quite lightweight. Um, but what that also means is that, for example, if I get self, uh, I'll be able to get um, skill from here, right? So that's why it becomes super useful. So uh, in terms of the payload, uh, I'm going to be passing the reference to the skill book item widget, which will contain the skill. And then obviously the skill has information about the skill name, the description, and all that other data. So that's why we need um, this uh, as the payload. And in terms of the skill icon, uh, this, well, is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's literally this icon. So when we're dragging this, the visual uh, widget is going to be this icon. So what you can do is create your own uh, widget to represent this skill. So potentially you can add some fancy effects to here. So uh, this could literally be any other widget of your choice, um, but I've simply gone with a simple solution of putting the skill icon here. Okay, so now we're essentially able to click on the icon and start dragging it. So we'll see the skill being dragged around. And what we now need to handle is the drop, drop operation. And essentially what we want to do is drop it onto the action bar, but more specifically, one of these slots. So here is one of those slots. Okay, so with the action bar skill widget open, uh, so this is the slot for the action bar. What we want to do is override the on drop functionality. So uh, again, on functions override, what you want to do is search for on drop and you should find there should be an entry for uh, this function. So let's go inside there and see what we do. Okay, so essentially the first thing that I want to do is check the type of operation that I have. So if you remember earlier, what we did was we created the skill drag widget. So you can see that to skill drag widget, which is of type uh, drag drop operation, right? So if you didn't do that, what you could do instead is for example, get tag, uh, and then based on tag, you want to do something like the switch on string, right? And then depending on your selection, uh, you determine what to do. Now, this is completely fine as well. Uh, so I chose to, to do it via these uh, types. And the reason for that, again, uh, I might add additional variables and functionality specifically inside uh, those classes later. Uh, so aside from skill drag uh, operations, potentially in the future, well, definitely in the future, I'll want to add things like uh, item drops. So for example, I'll want to drag uh, potions and things like that into the action bar. So that's uh, why it also becomes useful to have uh, different types of classes for them. Okay, so if that cast is successful, what we want to then do is grab the payload and uh, again, uh, I'm going to actually support different types of payloads here. But the first one that we looked at is the skill book item widget. So you can see that from that payload, I can then cast it to the blue uh, to the widget skill book item widget, which is the one we were on earlier. And you can see that I simply extract the skill from there uh, and I'm setting the skill for the current widget. So essentially the slot here. Uh, to the one from uh, the skill book. And then I, again, just reevaluate the image that I need to draw, right? So again, I grab the payload from my drop operation. I extract the skill from the previous widget. I set it to the current widget. And then I set the skill image. So essentially updating the image on my slot. And that's uh, then done. So that actually completes the first workflow, which is essentially dragging the skill from our skill window into the uh, slot. So one of these slots and then assigning this slot with that skill. So then the next thing that we want to do is take a skill from one of these slots and then assign it to a different slot, right? So that's uh, what we'll have a look at next. So in order to do that, again, what we'll want to do is implement um, on mouse button down for a the skill image representing your skill um, in the skill slot. Okay, so let's see inside there. So you can see in a very similar fashion what we do when the mouse uh, button is down, uh, left mouse button, we detect drag, and then again we'll look for uh, on drag detected 
uh, function override uh, in order to create that. And again, what we do is create the skill drag widget. So this is the skill drag drag, drag and drop operation. And in the exact same way, we pass now a reference to self as the payload, but this time it's not going to be the skill book item widget, but rather the action bar skill widget. Okay. And the default drag visual is also the skill image from uh, this um, widget over here. So um, very similar way, uh, but obviously slightly different effects here. So when we're dragging the skill out, we actually want to drop it onto another action bar skill widget. Obviously it's going to be a different instance of it, but it's still going to be another action bar skill widget. So therefore, when you go into the on drop operation, uh, we now want to handle the second uh, type of drop here. So bear in mind, you can see here that I'm processing these payloads inside the action bar skill widget. So something that I'll consider, for example, is adding some of this functionality directly inside the skill drag widget and just asking it to, to process it, right? So uh, that way I can refactor and keep these things clean. Um, but anyway, that's the future. Uh, for now, let's uh, have a look at what we do here. So again, I received the on drop operation. I then cast it to the skill drag widget. I get the payload. This time it will first try and cast it to the skill book item widget. So this one over here, it will fail that because it's actually type action bar skill widget. Uh, so it will pass this part. And what I'll want to then do is grab the skill parameter. So you can see again, we've got the skill variable over here. So I can grab the skill from the previous instance. And then I'm simply going to put it as a temporary local variable over here. And what I'll do is I'll set the target of the uh, previous one to null. So I want to clear the old slot out. Uh, I, I'm going to ask it to update the image. So this will simply clear the icon on the previous uh, action bar. And then in the current one, I'm going to assign it to the skill temporary. Uh, and then again, update the image. Now I do that via the skill temp just so that you can drag it out of the current um, slot and then you can just simply put it back in as well, right? Otherwise you don't really need to do that. Uh, and that actually completes this flow. So it's relatively simple as well. So the last thing that we want to do here is to reset one of these slots when you uh, drag it out of the action bar into open space, right? So in order to do that, we actually do it via the um, player canvas. So basically, um, what you'll need to do is create a canvas panel, um, which is going to sit inside the HUD. And you'll need to make sure that the visibility is set to visible, right? So unless um, your components are set to visible, they will not receive the on drop uh, effects. So you do, you do need to make sure that you have uh, something like a canvas panel, which stretches out to your entire screen and um, its visibility is set to visible. Then what we'll need to do is go inside the graph. And again, we'll override the on drop um, function. And you can see that I've got one here already. Um, so inside here, I'm already doing things like for my widget drag. So basically I'm able to move my windows around. So it's not going to be uh, this part, but actually the next part. So um, what, what I've got is the operation. Uh, I cast it to skill drag widget. So this is again, uh, just casting it to that skill drag operation. And um, I've actually refactored the logic out of here just so I can keep this um, a little bit neater. So what do I do? I grab the payload. I then cast it to the action bar skill widget as that's the only one that I want to actually process. Uh, I then set the skill uh, to an empty parameter. So actually I don't need this. Um, and then update the skill image, right? So I basically reset the skill on the um, action bar slot. And then I ask it to uh, re-evaluate the image, which I know will clear it. So that was really it. So basically uh, you drag the skill out of there, you bring it to uh, an empty canvas panel, uh, which needs to be set to visible. Uh, you then um, receive this operation 
uh, you cast it to the skill drag widget and then you simply uh, grab the payload which was the um, reference for that widget you reset the skill and you reset the image so that's actually it right so let's open up the um, character the game so uh, what we have now have is uh, this skill window and by the way this uh, drag operation that's what we just saw earlier um, okay so I'm able to grab a skill from our skill window so again clicking on the skill icon uh, the default visual is the icon itself uh, the payload here is the reference to this entire widget when I drop it what it does is it extracts the skill variable from uh, this widget and assigns it to the uh, slot widget. Uh, I then update the skill icon based on that skill structure. Uh, then I'm able to drag uh, the skills from one of these slots onto a different slot. And what it does is it clears the previous slot and assigns the skill to the current slot, updates the image, and then I can also drag it out of the slot onto an empty canvas uh, and then that one will simply reset this slot so this will um, complete this demonstration and obviously you can apply the same sort of uh, rules and effects to other parts of your games including uh, things like inventory so uh, the inventory drag and drop functionality will be quite similar to this as well um, but yeah this is it for this one so see you next time thanks bye